I just got three old phones from my work for scrapping. A little bit of gold and silver. Nice circuit board with processor, IC chips and also uh, phone jacks with gold. Okay, I collected all small MLCC capacitors, 99% sure they are empty. SMD resistors with silver and transistors with gold. I hope there is silver plating here. Crystal oscillators with silver. Gold plated wires from phone jacks. Good. I see chips. Um, small and large I see chips with a good gold content. Absolutely empty circuit boards with a little gold on them. And this is the best thing I found in these phones. Pure zinc. I collect uh, zinc for my hobby. You know, sometimes it's difficult to find pure zinc. This zinc is like gold to me. Well, a little bit of gold and silver from my work. Hello YouTubers and hello to those who are interested in gold prospecting in creeks, in gold mines or at home with acids. I am AK. Welcome to my little channel. The goal of my video today is to get copper sulfate from the solution after dissolving gold plated connectors. Gold is not important today. I need copper sulfate. Here I have exactly 2648 connectors just like in my last video. And I know that I should get 3 grams of gold from them. As I said, I need copper sulfate. And I will get gold as a small bonus. I will dissolve the base metals with electrolyte since the connectors are magnetic. In the beakers I have 2 liters of water and now I need 500 milliliters of sulfuric acid. 1 to 4. Now in my beakers I have electrolyte. And now I need to add sulfuric oh, yeah, nitric acid 100 milliliters of nitric acid no need to hurry copper dissolving very well there are some gold flakes on the glass and even the lid has gold flakes on it <laughs> it's very important to use the leads or the gold flakes will fly away. Yo, great weather for making copper sulfate. I can dissolve metals and take a fresh shower at the same time. The density of the copper nitrate in the solution is too high. I need to change the acids. Gold flakes on the top. Still a lot of copper. Water. 100 milliliters. 200 milliliters of sulfuric acid. and 100 milliliters of nitric acid. Okay, people, all copper, all the base metal have dissolved. Uh, it took me six hours to dissolve the base metals. I have a full bucket of copper nitrate now, and to get copper sulfate from copper nitrate, I have to evaporate half of this liquid. There are a lot of water right now. But first, I will wait a couple of days, two days at least, 
I need all the dirt, all the chlorides to sink to the bottom of this bucket. I need clean copper nitrate solution. Now, I collected all gold flakes on the filter. There are a lot of plastic here, which is no problem. Now I'm going to dissolve all the gold flakes in aqua regia. Looking good. Gold flakes in the beaker. This is my old uh, hydrochloric acid from waste uh, container. I want to use it again. Nitric acid. Aqua regia. Solution green, because there are still a lot of uh, copper. All gold flakes dissolve very well. Urea. A lot of plastic. Filtration is over. All plastic on the filter. Ferrous sulfate. Very good. Hot water. Okay, nitric acid. I'm boiling gold in nitric acid. Very well. Nitric acid is cloudy, yellow color. Hot water. And now electrolyte. Electrolyte looks absolutely clear, which is good. I have large granules. Punch. Hot water. And now hydrochloric acid. Okay guys, if any of you are going to do everything I do, it's important that there is sulfuric acid, electrolyte, between um, Nitric acid and the hydrochloric acid. Awesome. I will use this hydrochloric acid again next time. Hot water. Awesome color. Now I need to dry it. Three stages of purification and now my gold absolutely pure.
A small gold button. Pure gold with a mirror surface. Three grams, one hundred ninety-four milligrams. Three point one grams of gold out of two thousand sixty-five grams of connectors, and that's exactly what I expected. I keep copper nitrate in a bucket for three days. Now all the chloride and this is least sulfate and metastenic acid should be at the bottom. Excellent. Clean blue color. This is exactly what I want. All the dirt at the bottom. Now I need to evaporate a lot of water from this copper nitrate. Okay, I'm going to evaporate half of the water from this solution. I want to evaporate 3000 milliliters of water in each beaker. A slow process. I spent 5 hours on this. Now the density of copper nitrate in the beakers is very high. Oh, I can already see some copper sulfate. Even in the hot solution. <clears throat> I will leave the solution overnight. Tomorrow there should be a lot of copper sulfate crystals. So, see you tomorrow. Okay. A good amount of copper sulfate, beautiful crystals. Now I will leave the copper sulfate on the filter so that all the liquid flows down and after 2-3 hours I will grind all the crystals in a mixer. Ok, I keep the copper sulfate crystals on the filter for 6 hours. My copper sulfate is not dry, I don't need absolutely dry copper sulfate. The person who ordered copper sulfate from me, he don't want dry copper sulfate. He needs exactly this copper sulfate, not wet and not dry. The main thing for him is that copper sulfate is pure, and this is pure copper sulfate. I have been making copper sulfate for him for more than two years now, and so far he is happy with my product. And I'm happy to do business with him. And this is my little bonus. A small gold button. And this gold button is from my previous video. Thank you all for watching, sorry if I did something wrong, this is just my hobby, I'm not professional, I'm learning every day. Take care.